when people have a lot of money, their or they their life their their life is one exciting activity or an event to the next one to the next one. Hey, we're gonna go to the beach this weekend. There's a there's a wedding next weekend. There's a party this weekend. There's this tomorrow. There's this movie coming up. There's this, and every time, oh, that was awesome, and that that was awesome. That's actually la tafrah. Meaning, you're just looking for one high, to the next high, to the next high, to the next, that's your whole life. That's your whole life. One, you know, some people, mashallah, their whole life is one party to the next party to the next party, one dinner, one potluck, to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. They can't even take a breath in between, and they're just going from one thing to the next to the next. Some people, it's, it's movies for them. Some people, it's sporting events for them. And they're, you know, fanatical fans. And you know, so, so these kinds of things, just one crazy experience to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, and that's all that life becomes. Every free moment you have is just looking for that exciting high. And that, the first advice they give him is, life is more than these highs. How many weddings are you going to attend before you realize it's the same thing? How many, you know, people are like making videos and picture and picture, and they look exactly the same. They don't look any different. There's still the same mind thumping, you know, sounds in the background. Nobody can hear anybody talk. Everybody's staring at everybody else. Everybody's getting in line eating the same food. And then all meaningless conversation. And then you come back next weekend, same thing. Next weekend, same thing. Next weekend, same thing. And just, you know, keep posting pictures of how happy you look. And it's all fake anyway. How many filters you had to go through, you know? And people are fighting on their way to go to weddings or arguing with each other when they're going to a party. But wait for the picture. They got to look all happy. And then post it having a great time while they're miserable. While they're utterly miserable. And they have to fake with each other. And so, like this idea of showing people how happy you are, how great your life is, how wonderful you look. Right? This facade you have to put up. And, you know, people have to put up. There's no point in putting up a facade. Why are you looking for this next tie and showing people, you know, why do you have to show it? And, فَخَرَجَ عَلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ فِي زِينَتِي is coming later on. He came out in front of his people all decked out. He was trying to look real good in front of them, like his ride, his you know entourage, his the, the look and feel, and he wants to show to people, look, look what I'm, look, look at the kind of fun I'm having, look at the kind of life I'm enjoying, and guess what, the ummah is now flooded with mini karuns, who are just living from one moment to the next, seeing what can they post on social media to show the world how epic their life is, so they can come out to their qawm in their zina. فَخَرَجَ عَلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ and why? And what did people see when they saw that? They're like, Ya laytana la mithla ma utiya qarun. Oh, I wish I had what he has. Man, look at, look at where they are. Look at how they're dressed. Look at that car. Oh my God, they're having so much fun. I wish I could go there. I could be like that. I, could, I wish I could look like that. That's all. It's become all day just scrolling through other people's lives and then coming up with your own fake version of your life and putting that up and showing them. And <laughs> it's... This is, this, is Qarun, this is why Qarun is being talked about. There's a reason. Because people can get sucked into that fake life, and their years will pass by, and Allah did not create the human being. He did not put the human being on this earth to be entertained. He didn't put us here to have a few laughs. And then to go back to you know, being delusional, and to be oblivious to what really this life is, and what we have to earn here. No, but in the ayat, please don't understand. The ayat are not saying you shouldn't be happy. That's not the point at all. Actually, people that run after event after event, you know what, they, what they're really doing? They're running away from their sadness. They're actually realizing that none of these things are ever filling up their sadness anyway. So they have to keep getting the next one and the next one and the next one because there's a void inside. And maybe for a few moments they can forget. They can surround themselves with beauty and they can surround themselves with luxury, and they can surround themselves with a, you know, a, a, an entertaining environment, so they can forget how ugly life really is. You know? And that they don't want to face. Don't become like that. I, I pray I don't become like that, and I don't wish that on anybody else. That's the advice they're giving him. They see through it. His people see through it. I mean, you got all this stuff, but... I mean, what, what do you really have? What do you really have? You know, it's remarkable how many wealthy, well-off, famous, admired, you know, looked up to, good-looking people, people from Hollywood or the music industry or the entertainment industry are so miserable on the inside. And how many of them commit suicide? It's a shocking thing. You would look at them from the outside and you would think they have everything a person could want. But apparently all those things are not filling a hole inside. And it's leaving them to the point where, you know, suicides are being committed. And I, 
I went to college a long time ago, and even when I was studying psychology way back when, there were statistics that I was shocked by. Back in the 90s, there were statistics on Orange County was one of the wealthiest counties in the United States, in California, and had the highest suicide rates. The, highest, the, the wealthiest places in the country had the highest suicide rates. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like, this, this is the reality of running after fake happiness. It keeps creating, the hole keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and nothing's filling it.